Hello everyone, I'm the Jaguar, and welcome back to my playthrough of Heaven's Ward. Level 56, we're past the halfway point, at least for 3.0 main story quest. Twas my life's goal to slay Nidhogg, but I find there is little joy to be had in its accomplishment. But you have rid the world of a hate-filled creature, and ended a bloody war in so doing. We are short a great worm's eye. Of the pair which Haldrith took from Nidhogg, only one is known to us, the one I bear. What then became of the other? Oh yeah, there is the other eye, isn't there? Fighting has broken out in the city. Lord Emmerich was sparse with the particulars, but it seems some commoners threw open the gates to a force of heretics. I gave no order to attack. There has been enough violence. I will appeal to my people in the city and make them see reason. Sounds good. Come then, Lady Iceheart. Let us write the final chapter in this damnable war. It's really making me seem like it's the end here. proceed apace then yes your eminence this unrest shall serve to feed the people's fear of the heretics and the dragons both ah oh, so they're trying to continue the war for some reason the moment is at hand it's edgelord la brea again it is time for the bringer of light to die no, you. Hey, it's Ursh Font again. And he's probably really confused why Lady Isar is here on our side. just gonna make them angrier I think you have followed me bled with me to bring this truth to light that we might all know peace but Nidhogg is dead Nidhogg is dead my friends he who bore such hatred towards Ishgard is dead let his hatred die with him I say let us sheathe our swords and go in peace! Have we lost? No, my friend. Far from it. At long last, the peace for which we have so desperately fought is within our grasp. And I, for one, would not forsake it. Peace? Oh wow, I didn't expect that to work. Seize the witch! Let none escape! But I guess they are fighting for peace, so now that they have it, there's no reason for them to keep fighting. Providing aid and succor to the wounded should be our first concern. Urshvant spitting some facts. If the heretics mean to observe the peace, then it would be folly not to do the same. Or 
Orthodox Mayhem. Nidhogg Slayer title. Awesome. Is there more debris in the city now? Or am I just crazy? I'm not sure if this was just always here or not. Yeah, it definitely seems like there's more debris. Alright, time to do my next job quest. An honest healer here in Tailfeather. Now I have seen everything. Ah oh yes, looking for healers. Hardest part of playing DPS in an MMO. Or tank, perhaps. I don't really play tank, so I'm not sure. Oh yeah, A-wing all the things. So I just realized I wasn't recording the whole cutscene that just played, which sucks. But basically, I was super surprised to find out Americ is the Pope's son. Got a blue quest for an Aether Current. So I'm guessing since there's a quest for an Aether Current in this zone that popped up, we'll be heading back here shortly in the main story quest. Because there is an awful lot of this zone still left to be explored. Like we haven't even explored half of it. Eh? What's that? Speak up, I can't hear as well as I used to. Guess we just give up on trying to talk to him then. Enough! Leave threatening women and children to our betters. We don't have the knack. Hilda! Lay a finger on the blue blood's pups, and you're like to lose the hand. So this is the Mongol, I'm guessing. Hilda. Got a single player instance. What, we're gonna have a bar fight? If Sir Emmerich is imprisoned in the vault, we will need all the help we can muster to breach their defenses and rescue him. Unmistakable scent of heresy. Cheribert. Oh, this guy. This is the guy that accused Alphanone Tataru. I think. Alright, we're fighting this guy. Attacks aren't doing anything to this guy. Hey, no healing allowed. Only I could be a healer. Oh, this guy is vulnerable now. Dang, this fire is not going away. Urshifon, what are you doing, man? Get out of the fire! This guy can jump. Ugh, lucky bastard. Then it is decided to the vault. The Archbishop must be held to account. And the Lord Commander granted his liberty. This is major area 52 vibes. Storm the vault. They can't stop us all. Alright. Let's do this. The 
fault. Oh, this place looks awesome. Dang, the lighting. The organ almost makes this dungeon feel like it could be a final dungeon. Of course, obviously it's not because this is level 57. Mega Mushroom. Oh no, I have an error. What does that mean? Oh, it's just gonna stun me. Lighting this dungeon got even cooler. I'll cut you to pieces! Oh, it's this guy. I will not yield to you! I have the power! Whoa, his voice. So what are they doing to grow big? Is that just like a power they have? Down with you! Oh, you're gonna flee too? Guys are all cowards. This place is like, kind of, Scarlet Monastery vibes. It's like all sorts of strange magic going on here. Oh, we're at the end already. That wasn't a very long dungeon. Fight this guy. Filthy rats. This guy's voice. Got some sort of chain for a second. Oh yeah, I guess I should use my damage. It's like chess pieces. Nice. Now he's just gonna sit there and contemplate his life choices. Oh, power! How can this be? Fall back! Wait, it's Sid. Oh, it's not Sid. It's just the Pope fleeing like a coward. Oh shoot, did Emmerich break his arm? Father, please! We were not too late, my friend! Why must you do this, Father? Nidhogg is fallen, there is no need for further deception! Now is the time to renounce the lies which led us down this path. To start anew! And tear down the very pillars of our society, our history, our values, 
Everything we have built over a thousand years? A fool to the last. Nah, man, we'll just make it better than it was before. Wait, it's this guy. Like a true bro. Oh no. No. Wait. Is he dead? No. I. Go. As his law awaits. Please don't be dead. Cowards. Oh good, he's still alive. You... You are unharmed? Forgive me. I could not bear the thought of... No, don't die. Oh, do not look at me so. A smile better suits a hero. Wait, I... Heard that quote. I've heard people say that quote. No. Gonna play happy music after that? Don't. Please. A knight lives to serve, to protect. To sacrifice, there is no greater calling. Leave me to mourn and give chase for my son and for the nation he loved. Go! His sacrifice shall not be forgotten. Bye. <laughs> Happy music's really killing the vibes. A friend once impressed upon me the importance of differentiating between words, deeds, and beliefs. Were he here, I suspect he would judge your father's conviction to be no more than rank, self-serving delusion. Oh, I love the character development of Alpha now. If Lady Iceheart can use her own body as a vessel for summoning, I see no reason why others could not. Wait, what? Are the Heaven's Ward truly so reckless? Unbelievable. 
Wait, are they planning to summon the original King Thornton as Primal? There is something I want to talk about. I don't know if it's just me or not, but I felt like Hirschfont's death was a little anticlimactic. Like he gets shot by this character out of nowhere, which I can't even remember the name of, and it hits his shield, and it feels like there's enough time for us to both move out of the way before it breaks his shield. I think the scene would have been better if we had charged at the Archbishop, like usual, and then Sir Grino, who's standing right there, stops us, and then Hirschfont and the Warrior of Light have a small fight with him in the cutscene, and we both end up in the corner of the platform where we can't move either to the left or the right, and then the cutscene happens like usual, with the spear breaking Hirschfont's shield and Hirschfont ultimately sacrificing himself. Like the stuff after he was hit, with the Warrior of Light holding Hirschfont's hand and everything, that was really well executed. But as for the way he actually died, I felt like it could have been done better. But maybe that's just me. But with that aside, I'm excited to see where the story heads next. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next episode.